Hello everyone. Welcome to General Sciences Biology Module 30. Today's tutorial is on vitamins. I am Ritrisha from GK Today and I will be taking you through this. What are vitamins? Vitamin is an organic non-protein substance that is required by an organism for normal metabolic function but cannot be synthesized in sufficient quantity by that organism. In other words, vitamins are crucial molecules that must be acquired from outside sources. While most vitamins are present in food, vitamin D, for example, is produced as a precursor in our skin and converted to the active form by sunlight. Vitamins are classified by their biological and chemical activity, not their structure. Thus, each vitamin refers to a number of vitamin compounds that all show the biological activity associated with a particular vitamin. Such a set of chemicals is grouped under an alphabetized vitamin generic descriptor title such as vitamin A, which includes the compounds retinol, retinol and four known carotenoids. What are some important facts about vitamins? So let's see. Uh, vitamin A, it has retinol, retinol and four carotenoids. It's, sol it's soluble in fat and uh, deficiency can cause night blindness hyperkeratosis and keratomalacia. It is found in oranges, ripe yellow fruit, leafy vegetables, carrots, pumpkin, squash, spinach liver. I encourage you guys to take a screenshot of this so that you can learn and revise later. Vitamin B1, it's also known as thiamine. Um, solubility is it's soluble in water and deficiency can cause beriberi, warnick korsakoff syndrome. And it is found in pork, oatmeal, brown rice, vegetables, potatoes, liver, eggs. Vitamin B2, uh, its vitamin is riboflavin. It is soluble in water and its deficiency can cause eriboflavinosis. It is found in dairy products, bananas, popcorn, green beans, asparagus. Vitamin B3, uh, vitamins are niacin and niacinamide. It is soluble in water. Deficiency can cause pellagra and it can be found in meat, fish, eggs, many vegetables, mushrooms, tree nuts. Vitamin B5, vitamin is pantothenic acid. It is soluble in water. Uh, deficiency can cause parathesia and it is, can be found in meat, broccoli and avocados. Vitamin B6, vitamins are uh, pyridoxine, pyridoxamine and pyridoxal, soluble in water. Can, uh, deficiency can cause anemia, peripheral neuropathy and it can be found in meat, vegetables, tree nuts and bananas. Vitamin B7, vitamin is biotin. It's soluble in water. Deficiency can cause dermatitis, enteritis and uh, it can be found in raw egg yolk, liver, peanut and certain vegetables. Vitamin B9, uh, vitamins are folic acid and folinic acid. It is soluble in water. Deficiency can ca cause megaloblast and, de and deficiency during pregnancy is associated with birth defects such as as neural tube defect. It can be found in leafy vegetables, pasta, bread, cereal and liver. Vitamin B12, vitamins are cyanocobalamin, hydroxycobalamin and methylocobalamin. Also, it is soluble in water and its deficiency can cause you megaloblastic anemia and it uh, can be found in meat and other animal products. Vitamin C or ascorbic acid, uh, it is found in water, deficiency can lead to scurvy, can be found in fruits and vegetables and liver. Vitamin E, it's tocopherols and tocotrienols. Uh, these are the vitamins. It, it is soluble in fat. Deficiency is rare but can cause mild hemolytic anemia in newborn infants. Can be found in many fruits, vegetables, nuts and seeds. Vitamin D, uh, vitamin is cholecalciferol and it is soluble in fat. Its deficiency can cause rickets and osteomalacia. It is uh, found in fish, eggs, liver, mushrooms. And finally, vitamin K. And its vitamins are phyloquinone and menaquinones. It is soluble in fat. A deficiency can cause bleeding diathesis and it can be found in leafy green vegetables such as spinach, egg yolks and liver. So, moving on. Vitamin A or retinol. 
So vitamin A is required in production of rhodopsin, the visual pigment used in low light levels. This is why eating foods rich in vitamin A is often said to allow an individual to see in the dark, although the effects usually are minimal. Vitamin A is also essential for correct functioning of epithelial cells. In vitamin A deficiency, mucus secreting cells are replaced by keratin producing cells, which leads to xerosis. Vitamin B or thymine. Vitamin B deficiency produces beriberi, warnick Korsakoff syndrome and optic neuropathy. Beriberi is a neurological and cardiovascular disease. The three major forms of the disorder are dry beriberi, wet beriberi and infantile beriberi. Dry beriberi is characterized principally by muscular dysfunctions while wet beriberi is associated with mental confusion, muscular atrophy and eating. Infantile beriberi occurs in infants who are breastfed by mothers who have thiamine deficiency. Vitamin C or uh, ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is found in plants and animals where it is produced from glucose. Humans are unable to make ascorbic acid. Uh, this is also an antioxidant and its properties are uh, effective vitamin activity. Vitamin D or calciferol. Calciferol is not actually an essential dietary vitamin, uh, but it is basically synthesized in adequate amounts when we are exposed to sunlight. Vitamin E or tocopherol. It is a organic compound consisting of various methylated phenols. Because the vitamin activity was first identified in 1936 from a dietary fertility factor in rats, it was given the name tocopherol which means birth carrying vitamin. There are eight forms and generally food sources with the highest concentration of vitamin E are vegetable oils followed by nuts and seeds including whole grains. The highest source however is wheat germ oil which has 215.4 milligrams. Sunflower oil which has 55.8 milligrams, almond oil which has 39.2 milligrams, sunflower seed which has 35.17 milligrams and almond itself which has 26.2 milligrams. Vitamin E deficiency causes neurological problems due to poor nerve conduction. It has been linked to age related macular degeneration or Alzheimer's disease also. Vitamin E is widely used as an inexpensive antioxidant in cosmetics and foods. So many believe it is good for the skin because of this property and are used in many cosmetics. This is the main uh, function associated with vitamin E that it is a powerful antioxidant. It is also important to the health of our skin. Vitamin K1 or phylloquinone. It is an electron acceptor during photosynthesis. It is best known for its function in animals and is a cofactor in the formation of coagulation factor 2, which is also uh, known as prothrombin 7, 9 and 10 by the liver. It's found in highest amounts in green leafy vegetables because it is directly involved in photosynthesis. It may be thought of as the plant form of vitamin K. Now vitamin K2 or menaquinone. So is, this can be thought of as the animal form of vitamin K and uh, bacteria in our colons can convert K1 vitamin to K2. Vitamin B7 or biotin. Biotin is a coenzyme for carboxylase and enzymes involved in the synthesis of fatty acids, isoleucine and valine and in gluconeogenesis. It is also known as vitamin H. Biotin deficiency is rare and mild and can be addressed with supplementation. Uh, this deficiency can be caused by the consumption of uh, raw egg whites for two, uh, for two or more per day daily for several months. Uh, due to the avidin they, it contains, so egg whites contain avidin which is a protein that binds extremely strongly with biotin making it unavailable. This deficiency can cause hair loss and screen problems. Vitamin B6 or pyridoxine. Pyridoxine assists in balancing of sodium and potassium as well as promoting red blood cell production. It is linked to cardiovascular health by decreasing the formation of homocysteine. 
Now, pyridoxin may help balance hormonal changes in women and aid the immune system. Lack of it can cause anemia, nerve damage, seizures, skin problems and sores in mouth. Vitamin B3 or niacin, it is also known as nicotonic acid and vitamin PP. Niacin is used to increase levels of HDL in the blood and has been found to modestly decrease the risk of cardiovascular events in a number of controlled human trials. Vitamin B9, folic acid, it is also known as vitamin M and it's essential to numerous bodily functions. Uh, humans need it for DNA synthesis and repair. It is also important in cell division and growth during pregnancy. Children and adults both require it to produce healthy red blood cells and prevent anemia. Deficiency can result in a number of health problems, most notable one being neural tube defects in developing embryos. What are some vitamin deficiency diseases? So, uh, the main diseases caused by the five vitamins are called pandemic deficiency diseases. Some examples are niacin deficiency or pellagra, vitamin C deficiency or scurvy, thiamine deficiency or beriberi, vitamin D deficiency, rickets, vitamin A deficiency, night blindness. So, that was all for the vitamins tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel GK Today on YouTube. Till the next video, goodbye.